So Claire, I guess kids at the bus stops tomorrow should definitely get their winter coats. Yeah, you're definitely going to need all the winter gear tomorrow because we're starting off pretty cold and you're definitely going to feel it. Now this morning, unless you were awake really early, you unfortunately didn't get to see these temperatures. These were our official highs for today. These occurred really early in the morning, about 3 or 4 a.m. is when we saw these temperatures right now. Temperatures much cooler and they're on their way down. 34 degrees currently in Lansing and Jackson. 34, also your current temperature tonight in Mason and Charlotte. 34 pretty much all across the board. We are expecting lows to drop down into the middle 20 overnight. Factor in those winds, it'll feel more like we're down into the teens. So waking up tomorrow at the bus stop, that's how it will feel. Kids probably going to want to bundle up. Just make sure they're warm out there. Winds remain on the breezy side, coming in primarily from the southwest, anywhere between about 10 to 20 mile per hour sustained winds right now. We're still seeing occasional wind gust over 30 miles an hour, at least in a few locations. We'll likely see wind gusts in excess of 30 miles an hour, at least until about midnight or so. After that, the wind should really start to die down. It remains breezy even into the day on Monday. Winds from the west at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Thankfully, though, we're not really expecting any wind gust over 25 miles an hour through the day on Monday. Satellite and radar right now we're starting to see some gradual clearing those clouds thinning out a little bit as high pressure that's still well off to our west will be moving closer to us during the day monday and tuesday that is going to provide us with plenty of sunshine at least for a couple days before the rain returns by the middle half of the week so your future track going hour by hour into the overnight time frame. We are expecting to see clearing skies take place. That means sunshine Monday morning and Monday afternoon. It will look beautiful for tomorrow, but it's going to feel pretty cold out there. Again, highs Monday only reach into the middle 30s. It remains breezy, so when you factor in the winds on top of that, it'll likely feel more like we're down into the 20s for a good portion of the day tomorrow. So it's not going to feel the warmest, but at least it will look nice. We keep clear skies in place Monday night and Tuesday, and that means it's going to be another cold morning at the bus stop Tuesday with temperatures like likely only in the teens. We do see sunshine Tuesday afternoon, so the first two days of our work week actually look rather nice. For tonight, expect a low about 25 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. It remains windy with west winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour. For tomorrow, we'll see a high about 36 degrees, decreasing clouds giving way to partly to mostly sunny skies. It remains breezy with winds coming in from the west at 10 to 20 miles an hour. We'll likely make that 30 feel more like we're down in the 20s, so keep that in mind tomorrow. You're likely going to want to bundle up. Seven day forecast, we are warming up on Wednesday and Thursday. 50 will be our high on Wednesday, but it does come with rain. Rain lasts into Thursday, but highs reach all the way into the 60s, so it will feel rather nice outside. And then it's back to reality. 40s on Friday, back to the 30s next weekend, and we could see the chance for at least a few light snowflakes on Saturday. I like you said how it's we're gonna have some warm weather, but then it's back to reality. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just one of those quick little teases like spring's coming, but you just have to wait a little while longer. Typical March weather. Yes. Claire, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Tonight's pump patrol price is